Hi, my name is Heather Notstein, one of the managers of the Inside Systems Engineers here at Veeam Software. Unlike legacy backup solutions, Veeam delivers availability for the always-on enterprise, providing RTO and RPO, or what we call RTPO, of less than 15 minutes for all applications and data. In order to maintain availability, it helps to be aware of all the best industry practices that exist for your backup infrastructure. In this video, I'm going to discuss Veeam One's backup infrastructure assessment functionality in much more detail. The Backup Infrastructure Assessment Report, located in the Backup and Replication Report Pack, has critical information about the settings, potential limitations, and recommendations to help mitigate issues and enhance efficiency. This report is available for VMware environments only and has four main sections that we're going to look at. Application-aware processing, job performance optimization, backup infrastructure configuration, and file-level restores. Each section has critical information to ensure that your environment is following best practices. Let's take a look at the application-aware section first. The importance of application-aware processing is ensuring transactional consistency when backing up your VMware VMs. Veeam searches for jobs that do not have the application-aware image processing or VMware Tools quiescent options selected, ensuring that VMware Tools is installed and updated on all your virtual machines and searching your infrastructure to find any VMs that do not have sure backup jobs configured for them. When further examination of an area needs to happen, we can easily see what VMs are throwing the warnings or errors, as well as recommendations to correct the limitations that have been detected by this report. Job performance optimization ensures optimal settings by examining your backup infrastructure and how settings and configurations can enhance performance or what settings are causing bottlenecks. To do this, Veeam will look at a variety of settings. For example, making sure that all Veeam backup servers in the environment have parallel processing enabled, which allows for multiple VMs and VM disks to be processed simultaneously, reducing your backup windows, as well as searching your environment for virtual proxies and verifying your remote locations have a proxy server. If you're doing backup copy, full replication to an offsite location, or have multiple locations, this report searches to see that you have a proxy located at the remote site. The benefit here is that we can optimize data transfers over the WAN, assist with insufficient network bandwidth by having a data mover at the remote location, and analyzing your proxy configurations to find proxies utilizing the direct SAN access mode. Once the report locates any direct SAM proxies, analytics begin to look for any settings that can be tweaked to optimize performance. The final part of this section is finding bottlenecks to backup data flow, making sure that your backup windows are not being exceeded. If the bottleneck is the backup proxy, recommendations will be made to deploy additional proxies. Backup infrastructure configuration analyzes situations within your backup infrastructure that usually go unnoticed. However, each of these can have a giant impact if a disaster happens. For example, making sure that all Veeam backup servers have their configuration files backed up so that if your Veeam backup server fails, you have the ability to restore all settings that you previously had on your Veeam backup server. This ensures that your repositories have not run out of free space, gaining visibility into any VMs that the proxies failed over to network processing mode, meaning that another more efficient way of backing this VM up was in place and has failed. In the SQL Server optimization, Veeam verifies that the backup admin should upgrade the SQL Server Express instance, which hosts Veeam's backup and replication database, to a full-blown version of SQL Server. By default, Express Edition comes with Veeam, which can potentially cause issues with the Veeam backup console if the number of backup jobs is over the critical threshold. After breaching this threshold, the backup admin may experience delays in the backup console and just general slowness in response time for any action inside of the backup console. The final area is an optional setting. One-click file level restores are available by creating an index of the guest files during the backup job. If you need this functionality when restoring files as people may not know what they named the file, where they saved it, or even when they last saw it, Make sure you choose for Veeam to analyze your backups, ensuring this functionality will be here for you when you need it. Now that you have learned how Veeam One delivers complete visibility, including providing important backup infrastructure assessments, be sure to visit Veeam.com for more information on all the great features. Thank you for watching.